Hey, Riverwood family. You ever get in one of those situations where it's so awkward and you don't know what to say? Um, I was reading in the Gospel of Mark and um, I love what <laughs> how, how Jesus catches the disciples. He Jesus has just told them, he said, the Son of Man is going to be delivered in the hands of men. They will kill him and after three days he will rise. Okay, so he just delivers this this amazing news about his own death. And and what transpires right after that? It says, they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, what were you arguing about on the road? But they kept quiet, because on the way, they'd been arguing about who was greatest. <laughs> Get this, Jesus just tells them that he the greatest is going to be killed and the argument among the disciples is who among them is the greatest i just find that utterly funny and the fact that um they were they had to be quiet about it but it does raise an important important point right is that we all want to be recognized for our greatness, right? And sometimes we go out of the way to do it and we fail to see and give acknowledgement to the greatness of God. Those guys wouldn't even be together if it wasn't for Jesus uh, being with them. And, uh, and and they're arguing about who's greatest among them when the one who is greatest is standing right in front of them. So let's not lose sight of the greatest in our life too. And that's my encouragement for you today. Look forward to seeing you Sunday. We have um, another I am coming up in John chapter 14. So read that ahead and don't forget, um, it is spring forward. So be sure to change your clocks accordingly. We'll see you Sunday.